one of y'all wasn't mean enough. That's why you weren't able to secure this particular masculine energy that I'm picking up on. I was about to do something else, child. Some readings for my elements, which will be posted today. Also, if you booked a reading with me, you should receive that reading sometime this week. Because I'm closing my readings for a while. I just don't have time right now. So, if you already booked with me, you will receive your reading this week. But, I just picked up on this download right when I cut the camera on. Somebody was not able to get the guy, snag the guy, because you were not mean enough. And the reason why they gravitate to mean, hateful women is because that's how their mama was, is, depending on if the mother is still alive, but that's how their, their mother raised, that's how she was when she raised them. I feel like that's how their mother continues to treat them. So they want a woman like that. It's just natural. That's part of that trauma, 111 on the phone. So let's just see what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Holy Spirit, what is the download? <clears throat> Excuse me. What is the download, the message message that you have for us at this time? Please and thank you. What is it that you would like for us to know from you, from me, Holy Spirit? Messages, messages from the universe regarding this download that I just received. Just received this one. So let's see. Let's go. Holy Spirit, what? The truth, that's the truth. What I just said with this Ace of Swords here. Okay. There is a masculine who his... Love language is being mean and nasty, okay? He may also be very materialistic with this King of Pentacles. This was some type of twin flame, but this, this masculine didn't want to heal, okay? This masculine didn't want to see your value as well. I'm going to fix the cards, y'all. Miss Empress, this Miss this an Empress... And the Nine of Pentacles then came out here back to back. This man knows that you are his divine counterpart, okay? But you were nasty and hateful and mean with this Seven of Swords and this Five of Wands, okay? You ain't nasty. You're not hateful. You're not drama-filled. You're not trying to cause him any chaos, conflict, and confusion. But that's his love language because that's how he was raised. So if the woman ain't being mean and nasty and on some scamming shit or on some cheating shit, okay, he don't know how to deal with that type of woman, okay? He, This man could see your value. He could see your value. You didn't come out here. The, the fifth and sixth card is the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress back to back, okay? This him looking... These three kings are looking over here at this Nine of Pentacles Empress energy. This man know, knew exactly who you were, are. I don't think you are that to him anymore. You will be that to someone else, someone else's divine feminine. But this masculine refused to heal from this trauma, which is why he can't elevate to meet you where you're now at. That's why he's still coming out as three kings, okay? With this hyphen here, and then we got the king of wands. He has fallen from grace. You elevated, and he fell from grace. This was his potential. This is where he is now. You know, maybe he'll get a shot this next lifetime. But see, you understood the assignment with this hyphen energy. You raised your standards. You started doing better, being better here. You heard that decree from the Holy Spirit that both of y'all had. You chose to answer the call here. But this is him. This is you looking ahead at the most high and what you and him were instructed to do, 444, as a divine couple. But this is him looking off, getting distracted, possibly by a third party. Okay, somebody who was in this Seven of Swords. Five of Wands energy. 
and he fell from grace. He is now having to really, for him to drop from the King of Pentacles, this is the order it came out now. King of Cups, <clears throat> King of Swords, King of Pentacles, and King of Wands. This man definitely took a fall to drop from a King of Pentacles to a King of Wands. He's definitely having to battle some things at this time. He definitely has taken a, taken a loss. And he's taken this loss because of his refusal to see and acknowledge who you were with this Four of Cups and this Five of Swords. He wanted to win at all costs with hateful ass energies, hateful women, okay? They was the seventh and the eighth card out behind your energy because that's who he chose to build with, to commit to over you. And he is imprisoned by his trauma to even choose this type of action. His intuition is telling him that if you ain't mean and nasty and hateful and vindictive and possibly abuse him, talk to him like he ain't shit, put him down. If you're not cheating on him at least once or twice, if you're not trying to control him in some type of way, be codependent, then you ain't no good. You ain't you ain't who he should be with. Excuse me, he knows that you are good, but you ain't who he should be with. But this speaks to his level of self-esteem. And this man truly believes that who he chooses over you is better. Okay, with the seven of pentacles here, all I'm doing is going off the bottom of the deck, y'all. That's how clear the Holy Spirit is trying to make it for somebody right now. This is how pl plain, excuse me, I'm trying to tell you that the Holy Spirit wants someone to, he wanted to make it plain, child, because somebody heartbroken because this masculine turned their back to them. Okay? But don't believe the hype. I say it all the time. And I'm going to continue to say it. Don't believe what you see. And only half of what you hear. Because, baby, I hear a lot that don't never hit this table. That don't never get put out to the public. Okay? Because the illusions are real with this Seven of Cups here. And you have to be able to Use the spirit of discernment and know what's real and what's fake. And any connection this masculine is in, any commitment that he cho he chose over you, nine of pentacles empress is fake. It's a fallacy. It's some type of karmic toxic cycle that he has not been able to release because he has not healed from the trauma he experienced from his mother being mean and nasty, okay? Clarify that, Holy Spirit. He is not happy with any of these women. How can how can these women truly make, look, child, what then came out here? Queen of Pentacles. How can he be happy with any of these women when they emulate the energy of the caretaker, the mother? His mother was possibly a wife to his father or he had a stepfather. Okay, but how can he truly love <clears throat> these type of women when they treat him like someone who was very evil and mean and nasty? So if she acted that way, she couldn't have been very nice to him at the end of the day. And, you know, the Holy Spirit is wanting you to reflect on why this situation was truly put to rest. Because you ain't mean. You ain't nasty. You ain't hateful. You ain't vindictive. Please understand me when I say that the Holy Spirit is taking you through this period of despair and sadness because he wants you to get your life. 
get some understanding about who you truly are. This masculine could see who you was. No, he did not choose to acknowledge it, but he ain't able to acknowledge it. That's what the Holy Spirit wants you to realize. You didn't fit the bill, but the mark is very low. Okay? Look at the type of women that this motherfucker deal with. That's more than enough evidence to let you know that you are not in that category. You can't compete where you don't compare. And I mean this in the highest sense of that phrase. You, can, you don't compare to no mean, nasty, hateful, toxic, STI written women. Because I'm really picking that energy up off of these broads this, that this person has committed to. And they try to make it look good with this king and queen of pentacles. But this really what he got. Queen of Wands with the death. I'm telling you, I picked up on some type of STI energy when I was saying that. Like, these women get around. 1111 was just on the clock, too. I'm trying to tell you. With this death energy, they cause endings and transformations with their behavior. I just heard callous. Callous behavior. Okay? Okay? Going to definitely look up that word and re revisit that meaning. But I just heard that these women really are queen of wands with the death energies, very callous energies, hateful, mean energies that he gets into these two of cups with. And here you are, queen of cups, very loving, very nurturing. You probably trying to rub on this man and make him feel good. This man, look, let me tell you what I just down her and saw, child. You done tried to rub on this damn king of cups. First of all, you are coming out as his match when it comes to love. Okay, I do have to say that. Okay, but you be trying to rub on this man. You used to try to make him feel good. Just, I'm getting something about rubbing on him. And he would be looking at you while you was rubbing on him and you didn't know it. Like, oh my God, this queen of cups is rubbing on me like she loved me. Like she just honors me and wants to nurture me and make me feel so good and relaxed and safe. And they used to stare at you when you would rub on them. I am seeing this. But this person never said, this, first of all, you're the only one I'm hearing also that used to even nurture them in this way. It felt foreign to them. Ain't no other, none of these other women ain't rubbing on them and caressing and coddling them and rubbing their head and shit. What the fuck? Okay. 13, 13 on the phone. They don't know nothing about that type of love with this moon to the ace of cups, honey. They don't know nothing about that shit. And that shit felt weird to them. It felt like, oh, this, this can't be right. I don't, this feeling, someone being nice to me, a woman wanting to rub my head, wanting to rub my feet, okay? True reflexology and shit. I'm really getting some Ricky healing energy here that you used to place on this man. You didn't even know what the fuck you was doing. This was just your nature because you loved him. You cared for him. You wanted to have a future with him. You wanted to have a victory with this man. You knew that this was your divine counterpart, and he was. But he didn't feel from grace. He coming out as this Queen of Wands death energy now. The King of Wands was the last card out for him. But the fact that he came out here as all four kings, y'all. That speaks volumes to who he was supposed to be, but he just could not let go of this trauma. I'm telling you, you rubbing on him, you you loving him in this way, it made him feel like he couldn't get it together. Even though, again, here go the Six of Wands. You know, I was looking at that shit and thinking that was the Nine of Wands because the where the... V was at 
but I was looking at it backwards. This was the Six of Wands. You, you knew you were supposed to have a victory with this man, okay? But he couldn't call it because he couldn't comprehend it, okay? It was not clear to him what your type of energy was. And he's in regret now. He's in regret. Because you have not become evil and hateful and mean and vindictive, but you damn sure didn't cut him off with this Queen of Swords. You know the truth. You realize that this is how he's going to be. Because, because you were not mean. He felt the need to be mean. Okay? That's what I'm getting here. That's why he came out as the King of Swords behind this Queen of Cups. That's why you're coming at you're coming out as a queen of swords behind your queen of cups because you learned that your your loving nature brought out this king of swords energy in him so in order to defend yourself you have had to bring out your queen of swords energy and now it has brought out the love in him because he is realizing what the loss of true love really feels like. 1616 16 on the phone. This man is in the two of wands in the tower. Because he's wishing now that maybe he would have tried to invest some of that same type of energy in you. He has not really invested any love in anybody else. Let me be clear. Okay. Him commit to a person possibly even marrying someone, whatever his level of commitments are, those commitments are not student love. Love ain't come out here until the love you were showing him was revealed by the Holy Spirit, okay? All that rubbing and shit you was doing on him. This man realizes that these women he didn't hooked up with, they these collaborations, they're not based on love. Most likely, they're based on some type of monetary or superficial gain with this Three of Pentacles here. He realizes that who he's been collaborating with don't love him, okay? And he left you behind to take risks with energies who are leaving him in this pauper-like energy, emotionally, possibly, financially as well, okay? It's a possibility now. So this masculine is not faring well. Your love is triggering some type of healing in this masculine. Okay. I feel like you were also going through not some type of dark night of the soul, but you are naturally disappointed, sad that this didn't work out, but God wants you to understand why this didn't work out. And I feel like the Holy Spirit also wants you to know that this masculine, 1818, he is, he's starting to see what your love was, what your energy truly meant, that it was something positive, that he do got a problem, and maybe he will take the steps to fix it. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. We have the magician, honey. He He's thinking or actively taking steps to get some professional help. Okay? He needs to work through his trauma. So that may involve a therapist of some kind. But it's nothing wrong with going to a therapist. I feel like a lot of black men. And I said black men. So this is a black man. Look what they came out here, child. Ten of swords. With the ten of wands. This man is at his breaking point. With this nine of wands. This trauma has completely destroyed his life. It has put him in a number of tower-like situations as well. Dealing with these five of, sword, five of Wands, Seven of Swords energies. These Queen of Wands death energies. Okay? Because they resemble this Queen of Pentacles in Seven of Cups energy that raised him. His mother. I keep hearing mother. 
And this man is very de dehabilitated mentally. And I'm telling you, it's a STI floating around in here. And I'm getting that again with this nine of wands. One of these women gave this man something as well. I'm getting that now. So he does need to break away from this toxic cycle. And he does need to heal. And I do feel like he's going to take action to do that. And I do feel like all men, but I did hear black men need to go to therapy. Y'all need to heal. Yeah, so y'all can start treating black women better. Okay? And yeah, I said it because that's what I'm getting. For some reason, I'm getting this off this read and clarify that, Holy Spirit. Just saw the page of wands. We have the six of pentacles, your family. So y'all can boss up to women who were created and designed to be your family. Okay, I'm really getting that here. I just read. And so, you know, this this may be for who is for. But it can relate. This can this is relatable to everyone. Your this masculine's trauma stopped him from being with his divine counterpart. And his divine counterpart feels like it's something about her that caused this man to reject her. But the Holy Spirit wants you to see that, no, it's this man's trauma. You wasn't mean enough for him. And his trauma wouldn't allow him to boss up. So maybe he is going to realize who he needs to give to. And he needs he need to stop receiving any type of offerings from these other energies with this Knight of Cups here. I feel like he's 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 starting to get it now with this page of swords to the hangman. Oh, he getting it. He getting it. He getting a, an understanding, some straightening, okay, about who truly is in his corner, what love truly feel like. What love look like? The look of love, okay? Dang, shout out to Jay Taylor. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? I don't know where that came from. We got the two of swords. He was not able to make a determination about what love looked like. I'm hearing that. He did not know what the look of love was. Okay, and he is starting to understand that what he he's been accepting in his life all this time is not what true love is. Okay. You were true love. You were justice. You were the balance. And I'm telling you, somebody, somebody former twin flame, masculine, I ain't gonna say, look. I'm going to let you know right now because I'm going to pull out a deck of cards because I did hear that from the very beginning. You and this person ain't going to reconnect this lifetime. But I do get and feel that the Holy Spirit is going to bring you a divine counterpart to take his place because that's what I was getting heavily off that Hyphen card that you understood and accepted the assignment and you executed that motherfucker perfectly. You sit in the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. And you are this justice energy, okay? And that Ace of Cups energy, child, you are okay. And you can't be with somebody who ain't okay. So either this masculine going to get there, cut the deck on the Ace of Swords. Either he going to get his shit together this lifetime and y'all will get together. Or he is going to have to see you next lifetime, type by If... You ain't received a divine count, another divine counterpart in this one. Let's go, Holy Spirit. Is this feminine and this masculine going to reconnect this lifetime on a positive note? We want positive note energy. We have the Queen of Swords. Clarify this Queen of Swords, Holy Spirit, before I speak, please and thank you. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Y'all, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that, you know, look, three of swords on the bottom. You know that this masculine is going to be who he going to be. He going to be in the nine of wands. 
And you're not going to sit around and wait on this man to get out of the nine of wands in hopes that you and him will have a ten of pentacles partnership. And it's, it is heartbreaking. And it's going to take some time to get over it with this strength energy. But you have the truth and clarity about what it's going to be this lifetime. And that has brought you in alignment. Okay? You turning your back is going to put you in the direction to receive someone and something that will bring happiness and success in your life. Okay? That's just what it is. He ain't, you can't sit around and wait on this masculine and get his shit together because he is still very, he's up under some illusions, some heavy illusions, and it's going to take a lot of time for him to come up out of this energy. The Holy Spirit ain't going to make you sit and be complacent with wishful thinking. Okay, Empress? Because he got some towers that he going to experience, that he has to learn from. Same energy coming out. And only after he learns from these towers will he be able to fully invest any type of energy into you. But God ain't saying for you to sit around and wait on this man to get his shit together. I'm not hearing that. I ain't hearing that. Holy Spirit, clarify. Before I close this reading. Does this empress need to move on from this masculine, this lifetime? Please and thank you, clarity. We have the Knight of Swords, child, and I'm dropping the motherfucking mic. It's time for you to take logical, impartial action about this situation. Do not sit and stew in sadness and disappointment about this man not choosing you because he ain't chose himself, okay? And until he decides to heal, and that may not happen this lifetime, he is going to be in this energy, a fallen earth angel. It is what it is. God is not saying for you to sit around and wait on this man to get his shit together, God is trying to give you some understanding about why he ain't got his shit together. You can pray that he will heal, but God is saying move forward. Move forward because you have all the insight and evidence that you need to know about what he's going to do with you this lifetime. And I'm going to leave it there. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I will be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.